you know, tattoos make you feel kind of hot when you get them. But if you feel like it's not normal, please let your tattoo artist know. Water nearby, always. Always have water nearby. It gets hot when you get tattoos. Um, who are some of the people that you look up to when it comes to tech and like some of the people that, some of the major people? Who are some of the major people that you look up to when it comes to tech? I'm gonna be honest. I look up to a lot of people because there's always something that somebody else is doing that I don't do. You know, I don't, I don't have a particular person that I look up to. But I give everybody just dues because I like everything that you know certain people do. I don't I don't really have a main a main. What is the hardest adversity? You know, you being a business owner and owning your own tattoo shop, you know, it's, it's a lot of competition with the whole tattoo situation. You got different people in different areas, different styles. What sets you apart from other tattoo artists? Well, everybody in the basement try to do the same thing, but I try to master in colors. I know a lot of people try to stay away from colors and they like the, the black and gray look, but I really like to try to make my colors pop really, really hard for that because I know it's like I do a lot of tattoos on a darker skin and uh -huh. things like that, and I really want the colors to pop more on you know, the, the, darker the dark, the yeah. darker skin, or uh -huh. you know, we know that it will pop on a lighter skin, but I'm shooting towards more of the darker skin to give it the same pop that the, that the lighter skin has. So does this take a lot to achieve that look? No, not really. It depends on the ink and it's basically like on the person type of skin that they have. So everybody, you might can be real dark, but it hits different on different skin. Cause like I'm a little bit darker, right. so like if I put like what are some of the colors that you do? You say, I can't. Can I really do a whole bunch of colors on my skin? Well, you can do every you can do every color in the book. But when it comes to like a darker skin, you know what I'm saying? Uh yellow is a hard one. Yellow is hard. You know, white we love for the pop. So a white can pop, but a yellow will kinda give you that maybe, maybe not. And for those type of colors like that, those lighter colors, you will have to see probably after it heals, to see did it actually hold. Uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you is basically like, um, what are some of the things you've learned, you know, in, in the course of the time you've been doing tattoos? I had to teach myself on basically everything and watching other tattoo artists and see what they learn and what they know so that I can progress in my game a little bit and took the good with the bad because everybody is not your cup of tea for your style and stuff that you do for test one. So it's, it's, a, it's a learning process, long way to go. I still got a long way to go, but it's getting better with, within the time and the years. I'm loving what I do, it's just getting better. Well, you see yourself five years from now. Five years from now? You gotta ask me two years from now. I'm already gonna have more shops. This is my fourth shop right here. This is one I pretty much like. You know, a lot of traffic coming. I can't complain. You know, I can't complain. The artists that I have, they perform at night. You got the clients coming in. I cannot complain. But like you said, what I see myself in is so called five years. I say three to two years. I'm gonna have me two more shots. And I know that's full fact. Because I'm working on it now. Okay. What does tattooing, what does being tatted mean to you? What does that mean to you? It's an art. It's an art. art. I don't think anybody should get anything without looking into it and really like it. I get some of these young, young characters, and I have to call them that. 
because they're not thinking about the long-term goal of their tattoo. they just thinking about what they can get right now and what's affordable. Mm -hmm. But you have to also think about, do, is you still want to like this? Uh, 20 to 30 years and some of them don't even really think about 20 or 30 years so if you live that long guess what you still want it but you know you know what it means so i'm i'm, I'm saying to everybody if this what you trying to get a tattoo take your time and do your research and really get something that you want definitely definitely, definitely. do something that you want and make sure you research the tattoo artist. See some of their work. Don't just walk in there and you come out and you got a monkey on your chest. Exactly. You know? No tongue. So make sure you research who you go to. Make sure that they're sanitized. Make sure everything is at a fresh needle. You know? Definitely a fresh needle. The needles are coming out of fresh packs. You know? Because you don't want to get anything transfer from another individual so amen you know people are going around they say they're doing tattoos at their house you got to make sure they got the certifications you know because we've seen a lot of bad tattoos with people with bumps and looking like warts and craziness so make sure you research and if you don't got the heart to get a tattoo don't do it because you don't want to be like your man on facebook no it hurts don't touch me <laughs> real talk. But, um, and she did say something real. Research your tattoo artist before you get a tattoo. Knowing what he can do and knowing what he can do. And, uh, like I said, research anybody that's doing your tattoo. Like, I guess like when it gets midpoint to the tattoo, that's when you get like the more prickly part of whatever I think. The more of the, what is that shading in you're doing now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, the shading in part is more like... It don't, it's a thing, but it's not like that bad. Talking with you today and everything. How can people get in contact with you? Where are you guys located at? Okay, I'm going to start off my telephone number. is 202-351-7497. Instagram at Stunning Tattoo. And my Facebook is Stunning Tattoo at Yahoo.com. So come check me out. I'm here for you. Shoot me a picture of something that you want. I create it and make it happen for you. That's what's up. That's what's up. So guys, stay tuned. You know, look out. Don't forget, we got um, an editorial that we're going to be putting out. Um, and we have a model uh, call live here at Stella Inc. And that's going to be on September the 8th. So come out. Come on. Come all. It's an international model call. And um, show off your tats. Um, you'll be featured in Your City, Inc., hosted by the sexy, the one and only, Mrs. Five R's, Mrs. A.K.A., Only Heather. Along with that, we're also going to have Black China Dog, live from Baltimore. She's coming through. You're going to have your boy, Mr. Tariq Hick, the CEO and founder of Your City Magazine. And you're going to have your girl Lush, you Lush live in the building, man. Lush Radio Online. We in here, only Heather. Stay tuned. Lock and load. Dang, that little last part hurt a little bit. Ow! Cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs>